Hey everybody, it's Matt again from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to another Top 10 Tuesday. I decided to go with a different theme this week, and I'm going to go with another one of my favorite type of style of horror films, and that is, of course, Kaiju, but I'm going to do my Top 10 Kaiju flicks, No Godzilla. So these are the ones that are that do not have Godzilla in them. Uh, they don't really have much affiliation with Godzilla. But they are like some are Toho Productions. Some are characters that are spinoffs of Godzilla, but kind of not. So I wanted to go through a list that pretty much didn't have any Godzilla in them whatsoever. Kind of hard. And of course I'm missing several key ones, but they're, unfortunately they're way out of print. And uh, probably going to find them on a bootleg or whatnot. But I'd love to get my hands like on Mysterians or Space Amoeba, those type of films. Or even what, uh, Droga is another one. But unfortunately, they're out of print and hard to find. So, went through my collection and figured out I found another top 10 of of kaiju films, non-Godzilla. So, let's go with number 10. Uh, this one holds a nice little uh, special place in my heart. It is considered the worst of the kaiju movies out there. Called uh, Legend of Dinosaurs and Monster Birds. Um, I remember watching this, I got a Commander USA one night when I was little, and I loved the whole giant dinosaurs attacking each other, roaming, destroying this, uh, village, um, it is considered a kaiju type film, I'm glad I picked it up, because I think now it's going, uh, out of print, or it is out of print now, I don't know for sure, but this is the Tokyo Shock Edition one, as you can see right there, I guess it is considered because the dinosaurs looked awful, uh, the acting was pretty bad in this, but I liked it. It's just a goofy, goofy film with giant dinosaurs attacking each other. And since it's considered a kaiju film, had to have it. That's at number 10. Number 9 I picked up for $1.99, and I'm glad I did. It's a short feature, uh, and it's like an animated short feature. And it is called Negadon. Uh... The monster from Mars. Kind of weird. This gigantic, huge uh, rock formation type planetoid monster comes to Earth. Starts ravaging. The scientist builds up this gigantic robot to uh, fight the monster. It's like a short animated film, but it's actually well done. Now, I forgot how long this movie is. Oh, again, it doesn't tell me it's probably on there but I just never look but it's a short film and it's like I said again it's animated but it's a fun one uh good destruction I liked how the monsters looked the robot looked pretty badass uh again I, for a dollar 99 I couldn't pass it up and I'm glad I did number eight is brought to you by Kino Lobber and that is Young Grey Monster from the Deep so glad they put this out. Uh, this was another film that I've been trying to get my hands on for a while. Glad I did. Uh, this one is to deal with a monster rising up from the depths, destroying and devouring uh, gasoline and fuel products to motivate. So now the Japanese crew must now fight this giant monster. Again, monster versus the uh, humans, fun flick. Uh, the, the picture quality is fantastic. The transfer is awesome. Uh, again, it's got some good special features to it for uh, Young Grey itself. Gotta have it. Loved it. That's why it's number eight. Number seven. Uh, I remember seeing this in the theaters. I actually enjoyed it. I know a lot of people complained because they're getting motion sickness or whatever, but fuck that. And there's Cloverfield. Uh, fun little found footage film about a giant monster. Don't know if it came from Earth, from the waters, or came from outer space. But I think it came from outer space because there's a scene, if you see this movie, where they're on a Ferris wheel and you can look in the distance. And you can feel, you can see a, almost like a meteorite coming to Earth and landing in the water. So that's where it could come from. But again, this uh, monster is huge. Destroying buildings, uh, sending off these little uh, parasite babies. 
attacking everybody, making people explode. <laughs> Fun flick. I strongly recommend staying away from the uh, mockbuster called Monster. I have that, but phew, that was bad. Number six. This one is also brought to you by VCI Entertainment. That is good old Gorgo. Uh, I love this one. I remember the scene where they're on a boat, these gentlemen, and this giant claw comes just out of the water. And you just see the silhouette and it's coming closer to them. Uh, I had it in a book too. I was like, wow. So when this got released, had to had to buy it. And of course, Gargo is going after its baby that has been kidnapped. Again, fun shit. I love how it destroys Big Ben because this this one attacks Britain. I think it's I think this one attacks Big Ben. Ah, jeez. I haven't watched this in a long time. Do, 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 do. I know they steal the baby and brought it to the circus. Now Mama's after him. I think it's, yep, in London. This one is the Big Ben one. Yep, awesome. Sorry about that. Just had to remember. <laughs> Number five. Uh, this one has gone out of print, but if you could find the Tokyo Shock version, I highly recommend grabbing this one. This one is kind of insane. That, of course, is Gappa, the Tribibian monster. There's another version of there out there, which is easier to get a hold of, but you don't get this cut. This cut has everything to it. Uh, uh, even got all these special features, which is not a lot. But the other version is cut, and it's toned down, where this one is not. Tokyo Shock did a fantastic job of putting this out. I paid 10 bucks for this, so if you can find this on Amazon, eBay, stores or anything there, grab it. Especially if you love giant uh, monster, movies, monster movies. Gappa the Tribant Monster is fantastic. Highly recommend checking it out. Alright, number four. <clears throat> this is a double feature, but I'm going towards uh, War of the Gargantuans because Rodan is like a Godzilla type monster, but it is a single thing of Rodan, but you know what? Fuck it. The two of them are going together. This whole double package of Rodan and War of the Gargantuans. Uh, Rodan by itself, awesome. Giant flying pterodactyl, whatever you want to call it. And War of the Gargantuans, almost two gigantic uh, uh, abominable snowmen or Bigfoots or whatever the hell you want to call them. They're just gigantic furry men destroying each other and they're two brothers and uh they pretty much want to fight to the death but yeah Rodan War the Gargantuans I'd love to see this get a blu-ray but right now it is not so of course I had to put these two out there number three is Pacific Rim when I found out that Del Toro was putting out a giant monster movie I was kind of like ooh this should be interesting and of course, giant robots versus giant monsters. Insane, well done. Um, I like the monsters, how they look. The knife head, the ape creature, all those. And some of the robots were fantastic. I love the, because uh, it's divided by, you know, Europe has one, Japan has a robot, Australia has a robot, US has a robot, we have Gypsy Danger. Uh, my favorite was the Russian one, <laughs> the big green like helmet wearing one. Japan had this one called, oh shit. It was actually the first three-fisted robot, something typhoon. But um, these go against the giant monsters. Something from the core has released these creatures from an unknown area. And now they have, now have to fight these giant monsters. I would love to see a sequel. I think they're in the works to a sequel. I don't know. But... Man, fun shit. Special effects were fantastic. The monsters were awesome. Alright, number two. This is another one that gets a lot of hate, but it's just a lot of fun to watch. It's just stupid silliness. And that is King Kong Escapes. We have Kong versus his robot brother, uh, Mecha Kong. Because, <laughs> you know, Godzilla had his robot version. Now King Kong has his. 
And I think it was just goofy looking. They had all these little missiles that he would throw. A weird laser beam on top of the head. King Kong looked weird. But again, this is one of those goofy films. They're just fun to watch. I'm surprised this even got a Blu-ray. But I'm happy that it did. Uh, the fight scenes are funny as hell. The dinosaurs that King Kong fights are goofy. But again, it's everybody in suits. It's fun shit. That's why King Kong Escapes is at number two. I would have had King Kong, the first one, on there. But that's just obvious. So I wanted to just grab King Kong Escapes. And my number one, again, I grabbed this version. Uh, I had the, the others there, but I just picked this one up fast when that was the Gamera. I love Gamera. I heard they're coming out with a new one. So that will be awesome. He fights, a, he fights the Gauss and a, another type of weird monster. Hell yeah. I always love when they fight more monsters. Just not the same ones over and over again. I get kind of bored. So I'll give me a new monster. I'm happy with it. So I grabbed the 1990 uh, trilogy off the shelf. But all the Gamera movies are just goofy. The 90 versions have gotten better with uh, some of the acting. But the monsters, the way they look, were great. Legion was sick looking. Uh, the Gauss were better looking. Meaner. Um, Iris was pretty badass as well. If you never got these, get them. They're fun to watch. But yeah, that is my list for my top 10 giant kaiju films. No Godzilla. So Godzilla is not in any of these movies. Yes. I need more. <laughs> like again, I don't have Space Amoeba. We'll love to have it. Um, the Mysterions, uh, Go oh, what the hell did I say? Orgo? Gorgo? Uh, no. Orga? I think it's Orga. The giant space squid one. Yeah. If there's any other guys, let me know. I love collecting these. Like, I have Death Kappa. I'm like, no. That was just too stupid. <laughs> uh, there's like Big Man Japan. That's another funny one, but I don't own that one yet. But if there's any other giant kaiju films, non-Godzilla out there, and I need to look for, let me know. I have a whole bunch of more, but they didn't need to be on the list. These did. Alright guys, thanks very much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and put your comments down below. Thanks guys. Peace.